Well, hello, FCF. We're continuing our journey uh, looking at bees, things that and God says we can be. He wants us to be because he wants so much to, to just watch the explosion of joy that will come over us as we start to experience life the way he intended us to really experience it. So we're going to be in the book of Ephesians today, Paul writing to the followers of Christ living in the city of Ephesus in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 2. It says, always Here's our B. Be humble and gentle. Be gentle, we could say, and be patient with each other. So let me read it fluidly. Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. So three things, three Bs to start off with. It says be humble, be gentle, be patient with each other. Now you don't have to say be humble unless I'm at times uh, going to be tempted to be arrogant or to be haughty or, or to be, you know, harsh. You don't have to tell me to be gentle unless, like I say, there's that potential for me being unkind or, or harsh. And you don't have to tell me to be patient if I'm not tempted to be impatient. And we know these things are all true. And the more that we interact with one another, even as followers of Christ, the more these kind of characteristics come to the surface in our life. One of the things that Christians I've found through the years uh, fail to understand is, is that the local church, the place where God calls the followers of Jesus that are at all different stages of development, there's new followers of Jesus, there's those that have been following him for years and years and some for decades and decades, but we're all this mixed bag with mixed backgrounds, mixed experiences, mixed personality types. We all start mixing together as fellow followers of Christ and the next thing you know at times we have friction. We have fallings out. We have disagreements. We have arguments. We have people that we find we're uncomfortable with. And sometimes what happens, and I've heard this so many times, is this notion of, man, I thought, I thought church, I thought the kingdom of God, this was going to be a beautiful uh, world, that, that there would be nothing but kind people, nothing but understanding people, nothing but good people. Well, that's, that's an assumption that's not based on an accurate realization of what God is doing, first of all, and what he, he says in his word. Here it clearly says, I have to be or become. In other words, I have to make a choice. I'm going to be humble when I interact with people. I'm going to be gentle, and I'm going to be patient. This is going to be in the spirit sometimes of internal com combat. Uh, I'm going to be tempted, in other words, to be really impatient. Somebody says something, and before I even know it, I, I get one of those hot flashes, and I'm going to react to it. And I have to say, whoa, 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 that's, that's not the way of the Lord. i I, I got to just cool my jets and be patient. Humble, gentle, patient. It goes on. With each other, we, we, we have some friction as we you know work together with each other, as we get to know each other. But this friction brings to the surface the impurities that are still existent in our souls, and they are brought to the surface. For example, our arrogance instead of humility, our harshness instead of gentleness, our impatience instead of patience. As they're brought to the surface, we can now see them. We can confess them to God as sin. He can start to cleanse us from that unrighteousness. We can start to find the roots of what's behind them. It's not only what we do, but we ask the Lord, why am I doing this? Where did this come from? And in that context, we can now start to allow uh, for each other's faults because of love. Because I know that I'm imperfect and I am still a work in progress. I have to, I have to be, I have to intend, I have to uh, take initiative to be humble. I have to take initiative. I have to be intentional to be gentle. I have to be intentional to be patient. So I can then be very gracious, or should be, it should be easier, uh, not always is, but it should be, to be patient and gentle with others that are trying to learn these same Christ-like attributes. These are Christ-like attributes. These are the attributes that will make eternity beautiful and safe and harmonious for everyone all the time, forever. But in, in this life, we, we have to actively cooperate with God. One of the worst teachings that ever hit Christian circles was this thing. You don't hear too much these days, thankfully, but it's you just let go and you let God. You know, you kind of just make this big surrender. God, here I am. Just take me and just do in me whatever you want to do. I just open myself. Make me like Christ. And then God says, oh, you want to be like Christ? Well, let me show you how to start. He says, always be humble and gentle 
Be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. He takes us right back and says, if you want it, you have to pursue it. Remember Jesus said, blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness. I, I want to be patient. I want to be gentle. I want to be humble. I see this in Christ. I want it. Now I must intentionally seek to cultivate it. And when I fail, when I falter, I must confess it as sin. And in that process, God cleanses me, develops me, and gradually I, I take on a bit more Christ like this. Some of you, and I'll close with this, some of you, you've walked some years with Christ, and you can think back of who you were and the way you reacted to certain circumstances in your beginnings of being a Christ follower. And I'm just going to venture a guess that some of us were anything but humble, anything but gentle, and anything but patient. And you may still be fighting in these areas, but when you look what you were to what you are now, you, you will see there's quite a difference. The things that once would have been so hard for you to... Uh, to, to be patient with. Now now you're able to almost not notice them. Uh, areas where you felt like you had to fight for your opinions and things, now you're, you're glad to just sit silent and listen to other people. You're, you're humble. You don't have to prove yourself. You don't, you don't have to be heard. You don't have to, to be seen. Uh, areas where before you might have been harsh with people, but now when you see any part of that, you feel badly about it and, and you want to, to be that gentle person. So the growth is happening. It just doesn't happen as fast or as easy as we wanted to, but it's a cooperative. This let go and let God, this one big surrender thing, is not the teaching of Scripture. We re-surrender to God every day, and that means I'm going to be humble, be gentle, be patient, intentionally. All right, we'll close with that B for today, and we'll pick it up next week.